Welcome back everybody in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at a game played between two 1000 rated players those being 3th Gamera 3 from Italy and Tyson from Nigeria now this game starts with d4, d5, c4, e6 and now this move knight f3 now we have knight c6, g3, bishop, bishop v4 check, white blocks with the bishop, we have takes, knight takes, knight f6, bishop, bishop g2, castles, castles, with the classic Catalan opening and the classic Catalan sniper, sniping the long diagonal from g2. Uh, Catalan opening, which um, a random Norwegian guy called Magnesium Calcium plays a lot of the times in uh, at high level as well. So it's really clearly a good opening. So uh, we have this move uh, Rook E8 chosen by Black, and now we have C takes D5. We have Queen takes D5, and now this move Knight B3 chosen by White. Now uh, we have this move uh, queen f5 and now white attacks the black queen with knight h4. The black queen goes to g5 and the white queen goes to d3. Now position is, uh, is almost equal but white sniper is really powerful and if black isn't careful something very bad could happen foreshadowing now <laughs> that's not the reason why uh, he will lose the game but white uh, but black does play h6 which, which is simply a huge mistake as uh, after f4 uh, the queen and the queen guns here the queen is just trapped and can't go anywhere. All the squares are covered for the queen and, it's, and the game will end in short order. But instead white didn't see that and, placed, and played the move knight f3. So we have the move uh, queen to g4, knight e, and now we have this nice move uh, knight to e5. With the classic fossil attacking the knight and the queen and opening opening up the scope for this bishop on g2 as when uh, black takes and takes if white uh, if black ever moves the bishop the pawn will be hanging and there will be a tempo on the rook so black takes white takes and now we have this move uh, a knight uh, h5 which is simply a mistake as the knight can't get back into the game. Now, now we have uh, rook c1 putting the rook on the open lane and uh, black chooses this move c6. Now we have uh, knight c5 from white and now b6 from black and white goes back to b3. Now why uh, black chooses to go for this move uh, c5 which is just uh, oh, oh spaghetti else as the white sniper just takes the rook on a8. So we have this move uh, rook d8 from uh, black which just gives up a rook which for some strange reason white, white doesn't take. And instead we have the move uh, queen to f3 on the board. Now we have queen to g5 and the bishop come back, comes back to e4. Now the black queen gobbles the free juicer on uh, e5. And now we have rook, d to, rook f to d1. Now this doesn't only really threaten the rook but it also threatens the classic uh, ice skater checkmate as the black king is stuck on the back rank and the only escape square is blocked by the bishop 
but instead uh, white saw that and we had this move uh, bishop d7 now we have uh, bishop c6 as the bishop is pawn to a spin to the rook and if white were if black were to take the bishop white could just uh, take the rook with check and after the king goes to h7 the queen could just take the bishop on c6 and white would be a rook up now uh, we have white saw that uh, black saw that so we have instead this move queen takes b2 but that leaves the knight on h5 hanging which white really takes now we have uh, queen takes a2 uh, bishop takes d7 queen takes b3 rook d6 the queen attacks the rook on c1 and the rook slides back to d1 now white uh, black tries to push p up the board with uh, c3 c2 c1 uh, but here white uh, finds a nice move which is bishop to e6 now uh, if you take the bishop you will just lose a rook and uh, but if you take the rook as happens in the game you uh, there is a queen to f7 check and then you can just take the rook back and you are two pawns up now the rook is on uh, so we the rook takes the rook on d6 and now the black queen gives a check on c1 the white king goes to g2 and now black continues pushing p up the board with with this move c3 now white goes uh, rook d7 creating the classic kebab on the seventh rank and threatening checkmate on g7 uh, the, bla uh, the black queen goes to, to g5 to stop the checkmate on g7 so but now we have this move uh, bishop f5 check and after king h8 and after king h8 queen e8 or queen f8 are checkmate but for some strange reason white goes here uh, rook d8 check and gives up a rook now white is still completely winning as he is just up a bishop he just has a bishop for a pawn as, as black has unos dos tres cuatro cinco and black has eins zwei drei vier so white is down a pawn but he is up a bishop so uh, white is still completely winning now after the queen takes the rook uh, we have this move queen to g6 threatening mate on h7 the king goes to g8 stopping checkmate and the queen gives a check on h7 anyways now we have uh, the move king to f7 and the move king to uh, queen to g6 check and now the move, uh, the now black goes to e7, which is just a losing mistake. With the classic uh, bone cloud speedrun, with uh, one e5, one e4, e5, two king e2, or king e7. Uh, but this is just a bad move, as now there is um, queen e6 check king f8 is forced and now white can re-threaten the checkmate on f7 with this move bishop g6 and after white uh, black tries to trade this is just a checkmate on the black king but white didn't see that and instead traded the queens now white is still completely winning as he as he has a bishop for a pawn so black takes the queen and now uh, white 
promptly uses the bishop, uh, his bishop advantage, to block the pawn on c2, on c3, from becoming a queen. Now, black continues pushing p up the board with the move b5, desper desperately trying to get over the defenses of this bishop. But this bishop is very OP, as even if you get this pawn chain, the bishop controls all of these squares, so none of the pawns can make progress. And pushing one pawn, one of them just makes hangs another one. So uh, we have this move b5 by b5 by black, and white gets their king into the game at, as it's the end game. So we have this move king to f3. Now we have b4 and bishop b3. Now we have, uh, black chooses this move a5. And now we got uh, king to a3, king to, to d6, king to d4, king to c6, king to c4, king to b6. And now this move e4 chosen by white. Now, after king to c6, white goes e5. Uh, trying to push p up the board uh, himself uh, with uh, e6, e7, e8. Um, but the second idea of uh, e5 is to is to deflect the defender of the b5 square, and that's exactly what happened in the game. As black went uh, king to d7 and the white king got in and will just gobble up all of these choosers. Now, black pulls the classic broating Sisikaru as he tries to catch uh, black white with a pre-move, as if uh, white had pre-moved the uh, king takes a5, there would just be another queen on the board for black, and black would be completely winning. But uh, white fresh didn't take, uh, didn't pre-move and instead took the free juicer on c2. Now we have uh, king to e6, king takes a5, king takes e5, and king takes b4. Now we have king to d4, and now this very well timed move, uh, very well timed move uh, f3 trying to create the classic anchor where the pawn protects the bishop and the bishop protects the king uh, followed by putting every pawn on, the, on a light square creating the, the classic connect 3 with the bishop that protects the base of the pawn chain and that's exactly what happened in the game after king e3, king, uh, bishop e4, king f2, e, g4, king g2 h4, king g3, h5. The, now the black king is completely useless uh, and can't take anything as everything is protected. And can just dance around, around here, uh, until white brings their king over and takes all of the pawns. Now here, crucial moment, uh, as white didn't pay his respects uh, to the chess gods and didn't unpeasant, as an unpeasant was clearly available in the on the board, uh, and white could have just gone uh, g7, g8. But white forgets that uh, unpeasant exists and uh, um, goes king to c5. Now the king, the black king can't do anything, and now the black, the uh, white king goes to g6. And after king to f4, we have king takes h6, king to g3, king takes uh, g5, and as and faced with the prospect uh, of. Uh, h6, h7, and h8, uh, black simply resigned the game in this, posi in this position. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I and if you haven't already make, make, make sure to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one with some great recaps. Bye guys!